watcha, now watcha, now watcha. Howdy, hey, welcome back. We got another video, guys. Today's video is gonna be about installing this ceiling fan I bought from Walmart. Uh, I was looking for a ceiling fan, but I didn't want to pay the prices that I saw. But I ended up seeing this one at Walmart for like twenty nine dollars. I know it's cheap, but that's all I pretty much need. So. Before we get started into the video, do me a favor, guys. Support the channel by subscribing for me, uh, liking all the uh, videos, commenting on the videos, and uh, hitting the uh, bell icon in the bottom as well. So the subscribe button somewhere down there. We're going to get to the video. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, I'm sorry I didn't record cutting it open, but hey, I cut the uh, box open. And uh, just to let you guys know, this is the main stage 42 inch flush mounted ceiling fan. Uh, I purchased from Walmart, like I said. Uh, it's pretty cheap. It's the only reason I bought it. I got it. I'm not paying $100 for a ceiling fan. <laughs> I'm sorry. First thing they have in here is, uh, I think this is the actual mount that actually mounts it to the, uh, the receptacle box in the ceiling. So there, you have a mount. Of course, we have the instruction guide. Uh, Probably won't read it, but hey, we have it. You have all your hardware, you have your screws, some more screws. You have like the pull chain for the uh, turning the off and on switch, and you have your wire nuts. Very important. You have your blades. Okay, so you can either do white or this wood grain blue brown whatever color that is your choice i'll probably stick with this it looks more better to me all right we don't need that watch out now watch out <laughs> we got the globe if i don't break it <laughs> we got the globe uh this is like the trim piece that actually goes and cover everything up so you don't see it. it makes it look nice and beautiful and white got that hey we got a great value light bulb 60 watt baby yeah nothing else to be said about that it's a light bulb <laughs> but i am happy that they actually included a light bulb for 29 dollars i mean I'm sure there's other fans that's out there that's more expensive than that that don't even give you a light bulb. So it's worth it just with the light bulb. So this is the actual unit, guys. Um, it has four wires attached to it. It's a green wire, a black wire, a blue wire, and a white wire. And I'll go into details of what each wire is actually for when I get ready to install it. So. Don't think I'm leaving you hanging. I, I'm going to get back to it, guys. I'm going to let you know what it's for. And I think these are just the brackets to mount the uh, blades to the actual unit. So with that, guys, the only thing that's left is to get it installed. So, hey, stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So this is the light fixture that I will be replacing with the uh, ceiling fan. So uh, before I get started, you know, taking that down and everything, I'm going to go ahead and attach all of the uh, blades to the mountain brackets. Fix to the blades. And guys, like I always, like I always say, you know, the way I'm doing it, I'm not sure if it's the right way, not sure if it's the wrong way, <laughs> but it's my way. And we're going to get it done. Hope it's helpful for anyone that may be trying to do the same thing on the budget. Basically, just take it. And since I want this part showing, 
you're going to attach the bracket to that actual side that you want to show. Open up your bag of hardware. There you go, your screws right there. Take it. Zap her down. That's about it. And just do the rest of them like that. Um, I'm going to continue to record. So hopefully it doesn't take me too long. One more guys, last one. And uh, after I finish this, the next step, we're gonna just go ahead on and remove this uh, light fixture here. And I'll be right back. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and remove this uh, light fixture. All right. And first, I forgot to mention this. First, I've already turned off my breaker that uh, carries the uh, power to the lights. And um, I also have my switch off just to make sure that nothing happens. So just make sure you cut the power, just to be safe. All right, all right. Now that we have that off, sit that right there and loose these two screws here and I might not even have to take them all the way out from the looks of it let's loose it a little more Twist that counterclockwise, and here we go. That's, this is our ground here. Let's, uh, where is my flathead screwdriver? Let's set that there. Take me a flathead screwdriver. Loose this. This is our ground wire here. Take this loose. So that copper wire there, that's, that's gonna be your ground wire. wire nuts this white one is your neutral you can go ahead and loose that and the black is your hot all right now we have that light fixture out the way let's uh grab the mountain bracket and we might just be able to use the, the screws that's already in there so let's try to use the ones that's already in there this is your mountain bracket and what I did before I actually 
got back on camera it's two screws on the side of your mounting bracket that mounts the uh the uh cover facing kind of like the the decorative piece that goes over the actual unit it's two screws i actually loose one of the screws out and you will find out why i actually loose one of the screws out later in the uh, video and i did it on both sides so let's grab your mountain bracket let's go back up to your light fixture all right there's some long bolts but it's all right And I may fast forward through some of this so y'all not too bored with this. I know what y'all saying. Watch out now, Steph. Watch out. Watch out now. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Now that we have the bolts out. What we're going to do is we're going to go in the middle. Let's see how that lines up. All right, that might work. So let's get our power wire. Uh, let's run it in the middle. And let's get our boat started here. Right, we have that one started. We're gonna go ahead and get this other one started. And this one, the reason I put the other one in first, because the way this bracket is set up, you have like a slide on it, and it looks like I may have to go to the next hole over. So let's use this one. There and where is the other boat? Oh, oh my wires are pinching. Let's go on the other side of this. I'm just trying to get the wires on the other side of this bracket because it's kind of pinching the wires. Let me, let me fight this wire and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So what I did was it was this bracket that was going uh, that way. I just took that bracket off just to get it out of my way. And uh, now we can mount the actual ceiling fan bracket, which is I have the first bolt started already, first screw started. And uh, I left the slide open so that you're able just to slide it wherever you need it. And get this one in. And let's get it good and tight. All right. Let's get this side tight. And that'll be the first step done. Now that we have that tightened, next we're gonna uh, grab the actual unit and uh, your green wire is your ground wire, your white is your neutral, and these uh, blue and black wires are your hot wires. And I think the blue is for the uh, the lights. And the black is for the actual fan, the motor. So let's get this throw up here. And let me go ahead and grab the wire nut since I'm already down here. All right. So the way you want to do this, they made it kind of easy for us. So what you want to do is you want to get the unit, turn it sideways, 
and you have a, uh, a little cutout on this side, on one side. The side that's the cutout, you get this notch side here, you get it sideways, and you put it in straight and it's able to just hang so that uh, you're able to do all your wiring. So like we said, green is gonna be your ground. So what you wanna do is twist that, grab your copper wire here, your bare copper wire. This is your ground. Grab that, take that, put it beside this. Grab your wire nut. Slide it on and twist them together. Might use the wire nut that came already with it. It's kind of small and kind of big. All right, let's try this one more time. All right, then you want to grab the white, take the white to the white, which is your neutral wire. All right, then you wanna grab your blue and black wires, twist them together. And you're gonna put them with the black, which is your hot. All right, and once you get that twist, I'm gonna get off camera and finish twisting that. All right, guys. Well, I got the, uh, I got the, uh, the wires with the, uh, the nut wire ties on. Then you wanna push the wires up into the receptacle. I say the white, the wire nut ties. The wire nut is on. <laughs> you want to get it pushed in to the receptacle and take one of your screws take one of your screws put it here and this is one of the screws that I initially removed before I installed the uh, mount. So you want to take one of your screws and Put it back, get the other screw, get that one started. And I'm gonna use the drill just for time's sake, just to speed it up. There's one more. All right. Now the fan is actually, is actually installed. And for you guys that's uh, never actually wired a ceiling fan or did anything electrically in your home, in your home, hey, guess what? Now, you wired up a ceiling fan. <laughs> so you, you've you done a good job. Well, we all done a good job. Next up, um, we can go ahead and get this uh, 
this trim piece put up. And like I said earlier, I remove two bolts, two screws at the end, out of each end. Well, I remove one screw off of uh, each end, two screws in total. And the reason that I did that is because if you can see these grooves, these notches, one screw on each side, actually, you can leave in and it slides in in the groove and you just twist it. The other screw you will have to remove. So let's go ahead and install this trim piece. Got that side. Uh. And you got that side. Now we just need to twist it. Think we're in. All right. Take your screwdriver. Just snug it up a little bit. Then you're able to take one of your screws. Put that one in. All right. You take your other one. Make sure you include the lock washer back on it. Put it on this other side. Now you may not be able to see this side, but it's the same thing. Got that one started and tighten it up. You can tighten all of them up now. All right, I don't like that wobble. I may have to go and try to shim it up some after I finish installing it. But uh, next step is to put your blades on. I'm not sure if they go a specific way, but I'm gonna put one of them on and you pretty much can follow the same step with the rest of them. And I'll come back in a minute to show you the end result. Take a screw, take a screwdriver, and then you can see the, uh, the holes already cut into the uh, fan. And guys, it's that simple. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the uh, blades on, and I'll come back at the end to show you guys the final results. And also, uh, the, the the extension for the pull cables, or these uh, little knobs here. And just to put those on, if you can see this groove here, you just take one of the chains, find the end of it, slip the end in, in the big on the big side, and pull it through. There you go. That's how you do that. I'll be right back with you guys. Bam! Just we back just that quick, guys. Listen. I already got the four blades installed. And hopefully you got yours installed as well. We're gonna get this great value uh 60 watt light bulb. Since it came with it. We're gonna throw that in. That bug feel like it don't want to go. Then we're going to take this globe. Throw that on there. And they have these little, uh, screws that you just dial in to keep that globe on. And 
You just twist them clockwise. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right, guys. So if we made it to this point, the only thing now is to see if it's gonna work. And I, I went on and flipped the breaker back on uh, when I was off camera. So baby, do me a favor and hit that light switch for me. She she wanted to she wanted me to say that so bad. You already hit that switch. Mm -hmm. It ain't working. Mm -hmm. It don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch out now. Watch out. Watch out now. <laughs> y'all, we done put us a ceiling fan up. That being said, man, I thank y'all guys for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the channel comment on the video share the video hit the thumbs up thumbs down whichever one you please and man we appreciate all y'all love and support y'all giving us man we out